It has been a muggy Tuesday across the area, and as we move through the evening hours, there's a slight chance there's an isolated storm or two out there. Most of us won't see anything tonight, but as we head into Wednesday, especially by the late afternoon and evening hours, I think that's when things will start to pick up as we do have moisture and energy that will be increasing from southwest to northeast across the area. Front will be making its way down as well. That will likely stay in North Texas, but it may be enough to spark off some thunderstorm activity for us as we head into the evening hour. So here's what it looks like for Wednesday. Best chances will be northwest of a Fairfield Colleen line, and that's uh, pretty much the northwestern half of the area. As you head farther to the south, this will be more isolated. Bryan College Station to the south, you may not see much at all as we head into Wednesday. But if storms can get going, well, some of them could contain some pretty large hail. We're going to go up to golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Remember, not every storm produces this, and these will be scattered storms. So not everyone's even going to see storms, even in the risk area. But these are some of the higher risks that we could see. This is, of course, the hail and the wind and an isolated tornado threat. But notice that's 2 out of 10, not on the highest side. So that's good news. Looks like hail will be the biggest threat and then some locally heavy rain as well. And of course, that can cause urban or river flooding pretty easily since our ground's still pretty saturated across the region. So let's take a look at what we are tracking for you as we look at your future track. And as we head through the overnight hours tonight, again, one or two isolated thunderstorms will be possible to our northwest. Don't really think much is going to manifest across most of our area, and it will be mostly cloudy to start off our Wednesday. As we head through the morning hours on Wednesday, an isolated shower or thunderstorm may develop out west and push to the east, but the big show will be into the afternoon hours. Thunderstorms starting to light up here by about 12, 4 or 5 o'clock from Meridian to Hillsborough, maybe back toward Hamilton. Then that starts to creep down toward the south, and by 8, 30, 9 o'clock, more thunderstorms across the area. And again, they're scattered thunderstorms, but we start to lose the daytime heating and notice what happens as we head toward midnight. Just a few thunderstorms left over as you head across our central areas, and then it's gone altogether by 7 o'clock Thursday morning. But we may see another round, at least of some isolated activity, as we head into Thursday afternoon. So for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the middle to upper 70s for us. So it is going to be a muggy night. Then tomorrow, highs into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Pretty much what we have seen here across the region. And of course, the humidity is going to make it feel even hotter. And looking at your forecast, 90 degrees on Wednesday, 50-50 shot of some scattered thunderstorms. Again, not everyone will see storms tomorrow. Then as we get into Thursday, 30% chance for a few thunderstorms. Same for Friday. Then we'll taper it down to 20% on Saturday, maybe on Monday as well as the front gets closer to the area. But look at these highs into the middle 90s. It'll feel like it's over 100 degrees when you factor in the humidity. Then we get to next week, and it looks like that front will work through Monday evening. That will allow temperatures to fall back into the 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And looking at the Brazos Valley, 92 degrees Wednesday and Thursday. An isolated storm threat on Wednesday. Better chances to your north and west. Same for Friday and for Monday as that front slips through. So not nearly as high of a chance for rain for you, but it will be pretty toasty. Those highs in the low to mid-90s.